catch me in the streets and if not, we dodging coppers No talking in the streets and if not, call up your doctor We sparking off this heat at your night Nigga, who shot you? Walking up the street on my block, it's like an opera Catch me in the streets and if not, we dodging coppers No talking in the streets and if not, call up your doctor We sparking off this heat at your night Nigga, who shot you? Walking up the street on my block, it's like an opera in the hood, we still where, where the next weather is that measure is. I'm putting like the crime in the right for position. We still try to decide out the way. I think you're in the church, man. I think you're in the church. No, man, it's close. It's close, man. That's close. All right, folks, we can mingle. We can go to King of the Street. And then the old bitch bag. How many bags? Hey, what, what's going on, man? Oh, man. They're they, they trying, they trying to kill you, man. They got guns. Who's trying to kill you? It's like three gang members, man. No, 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 no. no. You don't want to go out there, man. They, they crazy, man. Who's who's trying? What's going on? It's like three brothers out there. They got guns. They in a rage. They trying to kill them, man. Okay, I will tell you, man. Come on, come go with me, officer. Okay, man. Sister Hortense, uh, you gonna have to look on her because that that is not the same gun book, and I don't have that. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Don't call the police, man. We want what? I don't know who they is, but we need to I got warrants. I got warrants. You got no, warrants. I got warrants, man. They'll take me straight to jail. Well, in jail, you may be protected in no, this particular I'll pass, case. man. I got kids, man. I got kids. I'm not trying to go to jail, man. Listen, you, you say you don't want to call the police and, and, and everything, and... I, and as I stated earlier, this is the house of the Lord and I, the house of God, and there is some peace. Yeah, and uh, but for a place of safety, we need to try to get you somewhere of safety. And I was just saying, if, if somebody is after you, the best thing to do is call the police. But you saying call the police is going to create havoc no, for your no, life. No, no, they don't. They're not here to help us. They, 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 they don't help me. They, they, they want me to be in jail. No, I'm not trying to go to jail. Okay, but you said people are trying to hurt you. No, no, I pass. I don't want to go to jail for them, for them, them guys. I don't want to go to jail for you. I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm not to trying to, to see you to jail. I'm just trying to give you some protection, you know. Uh, our facility, our church is not, you know, set up in a way that I can just hide you here. I understand. But, but you know, but this is, you know, this is a safe place, I do believe, because this is God's house. And, you know, and, you, and you're welcome to be here. Now, sound like your life is already in jeopardy and trouble and sound like you've gone through a lot already. What you know? How can I help you? You know, you you've run into my church. Hey, they, they was open, man. Yeah, you know, was they're having a uh, musical uh, studies time where they're studying how to read music. Uh, mm. Just a few people have come for that, and then you bust in here like that. I, I'm sorry, know, man. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. sorry. I apologize, you know. man. Okay, all right. How can I help man, you? I don't think you can help me, man. I I, I man. really desire to help you. Well, what is it? What is this troubling you so? I just, I just, it, man. You said you, your past? Yeah, man. I, I, I did a lot of trouble some things in my life, man. I've been in and out of jail for years, man. Yeah. But you said somebody was chasing you, but when I just yeah. looked out, but I didn't really see anybody. Are you sure somebody's chasing you? Man, man you can't miss three people running with guns. Right. No, I ain't trying to die. I don't want to die. I understand. But also let me say, the Bible said, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In other words, sin brings own death. So say for instance, you know, we gang banging, say we fighting it, and we're at odds, and we're shooting at each other. You know, when, the, when God teaches us to love one another, but we're doing different, we're fighting one another, then that brings own death. Yeah. Uh, with the different things, you know, when we're smoking, when we're drinking, when we have done other things in our bodies, 
that is not according to God's standards, then at some point, sometimes those things, they catch up with us. And then we end up having to pay the price of what? Death. That he has given us a new body, not made by the hands of man. We got a new home that's going to be a place in heaven with him that we don't have to worry about this game bang, this shooting, this violence, and all these things that you're troubling your minds and things we're going through in the world. You just got to learn how to just trust him. Take do it, but what, what good is that going to do? But you know what I mean? If that, I, the power of God is beyond any other power. And I believe, you know, that you know, his power can give you some protection. And that's a starting point. We first, you know, let's give him thanks first because, you know, they didn't uh, catch you or they didn't shoot you. Yeah, and that's, we, need to we, we need to give thanks for that and let's build from that. You know, you do believe in the Lord, don't you? Do you believe in the Lord? Well, well man, there was a situation with my auntie, man. You know, we prayed and prayed for her to uh, come back, man. She had cancer and, and she died and all the praying we did never did no, and never did nothing for her. But man, I done had so many people pass away and die, man. And, and, and pastors always come to the church, they pray, you know, we pray with all our heart, and, and they still pass away, man. And I don't understand why God would let people die like that, man. And it's just, I can't take it, man. Well, sometimes the prayer that you prayed may not have been the prayer you wanted done. But, but the prayer that God answered on your behalf may have been answered. You was asking for her to be healed from her illness, correct? Right. Well, see, sometimes death is a healing aspect. Because what happened is if she was a Christian, then death took her out of that pain of suffering and out of that body of suffering and put her into a new body. And to not only that, but put her into a place of his presence. Because the Bible like teaches... reincarnation? No, not reincarnation. What I mean is that the Bible teaches that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So what happened is that she made transition from earth to heaven. And so sometimes it's rough on us that we don't understand, you know, death in a sense. But death is not always bad for those who are uh, saved and those who are born again believers in Jesus Christ. Because of the fact that once we accept him as our Lord and personal Savior, then what happens is that, that if we do pass away uh, at an early age, older age or whenever, then we have a uh, home in the eternal kingdom of God. Christ died on the cross for our sins. And because he died on the cross for our sins, he paid the price for us. But he didn't stay dead on the third day morning. He rose from the grave with all power, him and everything in his hand. That's what we believe here at the Pilgrim Baptist Church. Now, uh, if you're willing to accept, you know, uh, whatever help I can give you, you know, I'm willing to help you. But uh, the first thing I want to do is have prayer with you. And then, you know, uh, you're sure you don't work with the authorities to try to get you some place of safety. Wait, you know, no, 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 I gotta go. You, I gotta go. Are you gonna walk out? Are you gonna you gonna walk away like that? You gonna walk out like that on me? Man, I gotta go. Man, come back, man. I gotta go. Come back. Man, I just don't know. I just don't know. Lord, I just don't know with these fellas. Man. Talk about it now, nigga. Up. You know what it is. Fuck oh, you, nigga. Catch me in the streets, and if not, we dodging coppers. No talking in the streets, and if not, call up your doctor. We sparking off this heat at your not. Nigga, who shot ya? Walking up the street on my block, it's like an opera. Catch me in the streets, and if not, we dodging coppers. No talking in the streets, and if not, call up your doctors. We sparking off this heat at your not. Nigga, who shot ya? Walking up the street.